I never had a diagnosis for 10 years, unexplained chronic pain, constipation, migraines, hormonal imbalance, skin issues, acne for 10 years of my life. And I saw 10 years, 10 years in my twenties. Hello everybody. Welcome to today's hot topic. Today we're talking nutritional truth bomb. What's a nutritional truth bomb have to do with autoimmunity? Well, a ton. So today we have a nutritional truth bomb and we're going to do a deep dive into why can't you sleep at night? Hey everybody, I'm Maggie UMD, functional and holistic medicine physician and the creator of the Transform Protocol and the Facebook community called Transform Autoimmune Disease Naturally. If you haven't joined our Facebook group, go ahead and click the link above or below in the description to join our Facebook group where we have 56,000 people in that community. And that's where I go. You get a ton of behind the scenes content and access to resources and trainings uh, that are totally bonus. And that's called Transform Autoimmune Disease Naturally. I have been a functional physician, first a family medicine physician, and then I got really, really sick and had to really learn a lot about functional and alternative medicine and nutrition to actually turn around my own autoimmune diseases and mystery symptoms. So here we are. And today, what I would love to do is uh, we're going to really blow the lid off on why you can't sleep. And believe it or not, it sounds like a common symptom, period. But for those with autoimmunity, whether you're man, woman, or child, believe it or not, insomnia is a big problem. And yet it is so misunderstood. And a lot of treatment around insomnia is around either medication or uh, sometimes supplementation, which I call green band-aids too. So today we're really going to dig deep on what is the underlying causes of why you can't sleep. Joining me today, oh, a lady in red. <laughs> oh, not that we coordinated or anything. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Um, our lady in red today is Allie Simmons, and she is our functional nutritionist with Transform. And okay, you need no introduction. I'm going to let you introduce yourself. Can you tell us, tell us about you, Allie, and what your role is in the Transform program? Allison Samen, let's just get that correct <laughs> right off the bat. I always mix it up. You Everyone know that. Does. Everyone know. does. Okay. If I just call you Allie. Call me Allie. Just don't call me late for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I am a functional nutritionist and certified holistic health coach. And when you were sharing a little bit about your story, just the basics, it, it really was resonating with me because I struggled with unex unexplained chronic pain. I never had a diagnosis for 10 years, unexplained chronic pain, constipation, migraines, hormonal imbalance, although nobody told me that I know now <laughs> uh, skin issues, acne for 10 years of my life. And I saw 10 years, 10 years in my twenties. Yeah. That's not how you want to be spending your, what's supposed to be like your, your, your best years of your life. <laughs> yeah. They were not, they were miserable. And it's funny because I saw the top, top specialists in New York city. You obviously and hadn't seen me yet. Right. I didn't. I no, hadn't. I hadn't heard of you. I'm so sorry. Yeah. I know. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't until, I mean, I saw anybody who said, you know, go see my this person, go see my that. I tried every lotion and potion and scan and yeah. physical therapy and traction and you name it. I did it. I was on it. Nothing worked until this crazy man introduced me to this crazy concept that I'm, I don't know if you've heard of it. I'm going to, we're truth bombing here, right? It's called nutrition. <gasps> I even never more. heard of it, but even more specific, it's called food, <laughs> blood, sugar, mastery. <laughs> yeah. Like mastery, ever... not dabbling, mastery. Nobody <laughs> ever, not one doctor or specialist ever asked me about what I was eating, how I was eating. Not yeah. one. Yeah. And so it's, a, it's, it's, amazing that I had this miraculous recovery when all it was, was getting my body to do exactly what it's supposed to do in the rhythm, getting my body into balance and working with its own rhythm. Yeah. And I'm not on any medication for anything. And I haven't been for well over 10 years and now I'm old. <laughs> 
Me too. And you know, I hit early menopause at 36. I have like at least three autoimmune diagnoses and 20 mystery symptoms that are not mystery. They're all just part of my autoimmune disease. And I had severe insomnia for over a decade. And um, you're right. And it's just one of those symptoms. But at the same time, insomnia has a huge toll. It has a huge toll on me professionally, economically, relationally. Um, because for me, if I didn't sleep, I was laying there awake and feeling extremely anxious and alone. And you know, all of us with autoimmune and mystery symptoms that that whole feeding of that story that we're alone and we're super specially rare and that we have this insolvable problem. It really, I mean, in the middle of the night at 3am, it feels 10 times worse. Right. Um, how many of you watching right now are, have struggled or are struggling with insomnia? I struggled with insomnia in elementary school. Yeah. And I would wake up my dad in the middle of the night to tell him that I couldn't sleep and I would miss school. <laughs> I would miss school because I was so tired because I was up all night. And what I didn't put the pieces together until like now is that I also yeah. suffered with constipation a lot when I was in elementary school. I was a terrible, terrible eater. And yeah. nobody connected that. Again, diet, nobody thinks about. Nobody thinks about. So I'm, I'm not sleeping. I'm not pooping. Those are the two, like two of the main things that we, you have to be corrected if you're going to correct any well, underlying issue. I mean, Allie, the constipation link, I mean, is huge because I remember as a kid, my sister and I are 18 months apart. So really close in age. What we spent like at least an hour a day doing was sitting back to back on the toilet seat together, swinging our legs, chatting and talking and all this stuff because it took us at least an hour. <laughs> and that was normal. There's a huge link between what's going on with your bowel health, the, um, your digestion, the food that you eat, and your insomnia. But speaking, let's bring it back to blood sugar. One of the main pillars of Transform is actually blood sugar mastery. I didn't say if you're dabbling, I said mastery, okay? <laughs> so well, one of the pillars is mastery. And it's interesting. It's the pillar most people think they don't need help with. That's the truth bomb here. That is the pillar you need the most help in. And just to explain a little bit of the mechanisms around it is that for me, I mean, you know, there's five pillars of transform, right? And they all work together and being in the right order of working together is really important with that. However, blood sugar is one of those pillars that actually ties into every pillar. There is the blood sugar really impacts on every aspect. If you have, don't know what the five pillars are and you want to watch the five pillars of transform, put the five pillars in the comment section. Now, one of the most important things for people is that uh, when I say blood sugar, a really good example would be just that I know if you're not have trouble falling asleep or staying asleep, I know your blood sugars are a shit show all day. And it's not just right before bed that that happened. And I also know, by the way, that if you don't sleep, okay, that's when a lot of your hormones are being made. So think about growth hormone, your ovarian hormones, think about testosterone, think about your adrenal hormones. There's a lot of hormones that needs to be made while you sleep. And if you don't freaking sleep, you're not making these hormones properly. The other thing is while you're sleeping, you're, that's the liver time in the middle of the night. 2 to 4 a.m. is liver time. And you don't have adequate blood sugar going into feed your liver what you will find is that the liver is not going to work very well to detox your body or to help break down these hormones for hormone balance. So when your blood sugar is a shit show throughout the day, you're not going to be able to fall asleep or stay asleep. Or even when you sleep, you're going to wake up tired because you didn't get quality sleep. From a nutritionist standpoint, I mean, <laughs> what's the difference between a functional nutritionist and a regular nutritionist? What depth can you add to blood sugar that a regular nutritionist or dietitian can't bring to somebody? The concept of, of blood sugar mastery is necessarily so different, but the functional approach we're, we're looking, we're not just looking at your macros and um, meal planning. I mean, that's a huge part of, of the blood sugar mastery, but we're looking at the whole picture, your whole body systems, how it all works together. And so like we said, it's your, are you pooping? Are you sleeping? And what is, what's going on with your blood sugar, which has to do with your food. And so if those things aren't happening, it's not about just um, how many calories you're eating. And I feel like it tends to get lost in like, well, it's just this food. And we have to look at the whole picture and also from a bio-individual approach, because each person, 
is different. It, every body is different. Even if you share DNA with somebody, you're still going to have different symptoms, different routes to resolution if you don't have the exact same issues, but you can have the same diagnosis and have different course of treatment because you are, you are an individual, but also your age, your lifestyle, what, what is going on for you that we have to tweak. We can still master, help you master your blood sugar, but it might look differently than the professional athlete or, um, the, I don't know, the retired 65 year old grandma. Well, yeah. I mean, so example is we've had people in the program who are professional athletes. They're co competing in, let's say, professional tennis or something. So what we have found is that the solutions that they need, example, before a two-hour game, a match, would be different uh, than the blood sugar balancing for somebody who is sedentary per se. But the other mix that we throw into this is food sensitivities. If people have a lot of food restrictions or they have a lot of food sensitivities or they think they have a lot of food sensitivities when they don't, can impact upon their ability to eat food on a regular basis that's really balancing their blood sugar. So there's a lot of food sensitivity issues involved. And we also have, we're not going to dive into it, but digestion is a huge problem, huge problem for those with autoimmune disease. Did you guys know, you can quote me on this. There's many steps of digestion and just this first step, which is stomach acid. Okay. Stomach acid is step one. Do you know what percentage of people with autoimmune disease have low stomach acid? What percentage of people with autoimmune disease have the first step broken, which is the stomach acid? How many of them are low? 90%. So that means at least 90% of people with autoimmune disease have a digestion problem so that's impacting on their ability to break down their food and absorb it in a way that helps stabilize blood sugar. We've got layers of problems we're dealing with in autoimmunity. And this is also what I mean by like a, a bio-individual approach because you can say, okay, 90% of people have low stomach acid. That doesn't mean that the protocol for them other than increasing their stomach acid is going to be exactly the same. And that's what Ooh. we do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's a very individualized approach to okay, we have to we have to support your digestion with your stomach acid and here's how it's going to look for you. Here's how it's going to look for you. Here's how it's going to look for you. If you want to learn more about our program, um, you, there's going to be a link we're going to put in, in the chat um, that you can message our team. If you have posted any message under our uh, YouTube, under Instagram, or under our uh, video here, you can also check your Facebook message requests or check under your comments later tonight. There'll be a response from us and resources that we'd love to share with you guys.